My name is Jonathan Miranda. Uh, I am the IIBA Melbourne Chair. Uh, so currently I'm working at Energy Australia as a business analyst stream leader. Um, but in terms of my background, I've actually uh, started in the testing role. Uh, so when I was a graduate, I actually uh, I focused more on the on test analyst, test lead type roles. Um, but I, I always envisioned becoming a business analyst from my high school years. Uh, when I was choosing my career path. Um, what happened was when I went out into the, into the workforce, um, the companies that I chose did not necessarily have the BA role or the BA role was very, uh, it was, there was not many roles available. So there was only one or two opportunities in the companies that I was in. Um, but I had, a, I had a concept that like, I need to get uh, a baseline of my skill set. So um, just in terms of technology. So I went through testing, release management, uh, and a few other roles just to get an understanding of what does it mean for project delivery. Um, so I thought that would be a good grounding for when I eventually become a BA. Um, but BA was actually a difficult role for me to actually get into at the start. Uh, so what I would do is I would spend my time seeking out tasks where it would actually be a BA role. Um, so I'd actually go and find the work within, in, within the companies I was working with uh, in order to actually get my experience up. So I never actually had official BA experience until I joined uh, my current company, Energy Australia. Uh, I did read Babylock version two back mm -hmm. when, when I was, um, when that was ready. Uh, what I did was a lot of Google research in terms of what are the techniques that I should be using for to mm. be a BA. Uh, how do I prepare for the different projects that, or tasks I would end up working on. Um, I also had quite a few good mentors along the way. Um, mm. So uh, my managers were very supportive. And uh, that was actually, though I extended myself quite a lot to actually get the BA experience, um, if it wasn't for them, I would only have actually have got the experience in the first place. So I was actually very thankful for that. Um, the first five years of my career uh, was just in, uh, my BA experience was just additional tasks for working over time for the BA role. So supporting um, actual BAs with their tasks. Um, then eventually I moved into Energy Australia as uh, my first official BA role. And I've uh, slowly transitioned into a lead BA and currently I'm a stream leader. So I had a point in my career where I've, I focused one year on just certification, getting through certification. So I did my CCBA uh, mm. in 2018 uh, and Agile Nelson certification also came through. So I decided to do both in the same year. So I sp yeah. spent one whole year just doing certifications. <laughs> uh, then last year came along and I was like, well, what do I actually focus on? I don't want to be doing any more certifications at this stage. Yeah. Uh, I thought, oh, well, I should actually focus on the community, start to contribute more um, mm. because I'm doing more of a team manager role. It's actually important uh, to, to lead by example. So um, I joined last year in IIBA Melbourne branch um, supporting supporting the team. So, look, it, 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 it did <laughs> catch me by surprise. <laughs> um, you must have uh, done a I, really good job, impress everyone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I, I like to think so. So eventually it was a new task for me. So I haven't done events management at all. Uh, I'm generally an introvert, so I'm not actually someone who actually goes around seeking uh, to find speakers and whatnot. So it was actually all very interesting. It gave me a good grasp of what's actually needed to run a certain aspect of the branch. Yeah. Uh, and then I was supported by the chair at that time in terms of understanding different roles, what are different tasks. So I actually learned quite a lot from last year. Um, mm. And also I saw a benefit from, we, we actually... Our volunteers, they normally stay for one to two years. Uh, mm. So I thought it's actually good to actually just have some co continuity in the team. Um, yeah. So if about 50% of our team uh, covers into the next year, it's actually quite, quite good for the branch. 
something very interesting is also blended quite well with my day my day role at uh, Energy Australia. So it's been very supportive, uh, been great for networking, understanding other people's needs, uh, what the market looks like as well. In terms of my company, it didn't necessarily impact too much in terms of ongoing demand. It might have slowed down in terms of recruitment, but that was because of where the company was at. Mm. Uh, so, uh, recruitment has been not, not as high as compared to last year, but we were in a different period last year. So I don't mm. necessarily have the COVID. Um, and right now it's still, there is recruitment as, as needed. So it's not necessarily uh, the market has stopped for recruitment. Mm. Uh, in terms of the general job market, so uh, people within our branch, uh, they've been seeking out roles, they've been finding roles. So uh, they do seek interstate opportunities to an extent, uh, but also there's roles within in Melbourne still coming up. Uh, the energy industry as well uh, is still mm. recruiting. Cool. It's probably good to focus on self-development, so it's actually good to get certifications at this point in time. Mm. Uh, the, the job opportunities will come up. It depends on the industry, uh, and obviously this is an unprecedented time. But I actually believe if you do uh, focus on self-development, gaining experience where you can, uh, it will position you for the right job when when the market picks up. Uh, in terms of volunteering, we have about six to seven leads. It's about the same as last year. If if people are interested in volunteering, then I'd, uh, it's great to just send an email to our Melbourne Operations email address, so melbourneoperations at australia.iba.org. Mm -hmm. um, we'll we'll consider having having additional volunteers. Hope everyone's keeping well and looking after themselves. Uh, for Melbourne being a second lockdown, it's it's been a bit uh, difficult for some some of the volunteers and some of the some of the team, but um, we'll all get through this. Um, but I hope everyone's staying well.